This is a nice stew we cooking tonight. It's a slow burn. We begin with a woman turning the tables on armed would-be carjackers who were threatening her life. Thank you for joining us for 7 News Detroit at 6. Uh, give me an ID on those carjackers. <laughs> give me an ID on those carjackers, chat. <laughs> Anybody uh got any idea what those carjackers might look like? We begin with a woman turning the tables on armed would-be carjackers who were threatening her life. Thank you for joining us for 7 News Detroit at 6. I'm Mike Duffy. Now, the men attempted the carjacking in broad daylight in the parking lot of a Target store in Taylor. But before it was over, she was the one chasing them. 7 News Detroit reporter Kimberly Craig is highlighting the voice of this brave woman. Damn, you got to go back to the hood, man. Listen, if this shit didn't make the news, these niggas wouldn't have told everybody in the hood about this shit. <laughs> they had just came back and been like, yeah, man. The hood would be like, hey, man, where, where y'all go, man? How did y'all carjacking um, foray at Target go, man? <laughs> How did your carjacking expedition at car at Target go? Oh man, man, wasn't nobody out there, man. We couldn't catch nothing, man. The cops was everywhere, man. So we just decided to come back to the hood, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? We just came back to the hood, man, because you know it was it was hot down there, man. The police was everywhere, man. But before it was over, she was the one chasing them. 7 News Detroit reporter Kimberly Craig is highlighting the voice of this brave woman who had been pistol whipped, but still didn't let her flip flops slow her down. It was Monday afternoon, just before five o'clock, and Rachel Smoleski was sitting in her boyfriend's car, getting ready to go into this target when three would-be carjackers picked the wrong one. They seemed like they were scared of me almost because I was going ballistic. I was like a little gorilla. Rachel tells 7 News something in her snap, but she says the ordeal started very differently as she sat in this parking lot Monday with the windows rolled down. I was just sitting here on my phone and then all of a sudden somebody just pulls up and they just pull the gun right at my face and they start yelling, give me your phone, give me your keys, give me your wallet. I thought I was really going to die over somebody trying to take a car. Rachel was scared and couldn't believe what was happening. She was about to call 911 when one of the three would-be carjackers knocked her phone out of her hands. He hit me right in the mouth right here with the gun, and I was starting to bleed all over. And then he put it up to my head, and he said he's going to shoot me or give me the keys. Rachel gave up the keys. And I just thought, well, it's not worth it. And so I just gave him the keys, you know, because I didn't know what was going to happen next. And then all of a sudden something just snapped in me and I was like, you know what? No, I'm not going to let this happen to me. This is not going to happen. I tried to stand on the top of the car, banging, help me, help me. They've got a gun. They got a gun. Thankfully, onlookers called 911 and that's when the tables began to turn. Once they started back away and run, I was like, oh no, that's it. And I chased after them and I ran like the whole parking lot. And I was just wearing flops. So I lost my shoes. So my feet are all cut up and everything. Rachel cornered the guys and one of them threw her keys back at her. They then tried to hide, but it was too late. Too many people were watching. DJ's employees just came out and they said males are hiding in their bathroom. Taylor police arrested three <laughs> teenagers. <laughs> they went into the BJ's and hid in the bathroom, man. Listen, man. Salute to Miss Smigglewski, Smigglewski, whatever her name is, man. Shout out to you, man. You're an American hero, man. Shout out to this woman, man, this brave woman, man. This brave woman who just got fed up, man. She got fed up, man. People, people get fed up, man. People starting to get fed up with sun turds, man. You're starting to see it. In D.C., they passed the crime bill. You're starting to see it in comment sections on YouTube. YouTube is had listen. YouTube has the 
has is having a lot of trouble because they censor comments, right? Whenever you talk about a black person, any story about a black crime, if you talk about it in the comment section, they try to censor it. So people are getting really creative ways to talk about it. And this wasn't the case in 2020. Everybody was woke in 2020. Everybody was woke in 2019, 2018, 2016. And it just exploded in 2020. But now, people are tired of the sun turds, man. People are tired of sun turds. This girl's not even sitting in a nice car. She's like in a Buick. <laughs> She's sitting in a Buick. Look at the column. Look at the steering column. Look at the, um, there's no, um, this isn't a modern, um, panel, um, with the, with the computer screen right here. That's not a modern car with the computer screen. This isn't a modern center console where everything's lit up in here and shit. This is analog. Look at her, look at her, um, her dashboard. Everything on her dashboard is analog. This is a car from the fucking nineties and shit, or at least the two thousands. This is a car from the two thousands. Like this is probably a two thousand six, whatever the fuck it is. You can't sit in your fucking car in a, you can't sit in 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 the Target parking lot in the two thousand six. Model car. Make. It's a Ford. Yeah, this is a Ford. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I didn't notice that. Thank you, thank you. This is a 2006 Ford. Thank you, thank you for that. This is a 2006 Ford. A 2006 Ford. I knew it was an American car. You can tell it was an American car, but this is a 2006 Ford. Fix or repair daily. Or spell, if you take it backwards, driver returns on foot. This is a Ford. This is a clunker from a 20 year old clunker. This woman's sitting inside of a 20 year old clunker in the Target parking lot. And she's still not safe from carjackers. People are starting to get tired. Now, am I saying that it's enough for Trump to win the presidency? No. It's not enough for Trump to win the presidency. However, the tide is starting to turn. Rachel cornered the guys and one of them threw her keys back at her. They then tried to hide, but it was too late. Too many people were watching. DJ's employees just came out and they said males are hiding in their bathroom. Taylor police arrested three teenagers and recovered their gun. I asked Rachel where she got the guts to go after the bad guys. I've had everybody walk all, all over me and you know take advantage and stuff. And after it been for years and years, you know, you just get sick of it. And I'm not going to let anyone do that to me anymore. Boom. Well said. Well said, my Gladys sister. The bad guys. I've had everybody walk all, all over me and you know take advantage and stuff. And after it been for years and years, you know, you just get sick of it. And I'm not going to let anyone do that to me anymore. She's just thankful for those who call 911 and says this is a reminder to be vigilant. If I had been more alert, I probably would have saw them and I could have gotten away instead of letting them come up to the car. They thought I was an easy target. But you were. But they thought wrong. In Taylor, Kimberly Craig, 7 News, Detroit. Okay, Kim, thank you. Yo, even though it probably doesn't seem like it, guys, this woman may be the, she may be, the, um, a, an important figure in American history. Because I'm going to upload this video. 
and a lot of people, a, a lot of YouTubers watch my channel, right? A lot of YouTubers watch my channel because you can get good content because I do so many stories every night, right? So a lot of YouTubers watch my channel. And they're probably going to do a story on this, right? Hopefully this goes viral, man. Hopefully you guys, yeah, share this, share the stream, man. Share this stream, man. Share this stream, man. Share this stream, man. This story needs to go viral, man. This woman's story needs to go viral, man. This woman's story needs to go viral. Very brave woman. Very, very brave woman, man. Very, very brave woman. She says she's the white Rosa Parks. Facts, man. Very similar, though. No, I'm I'm serious, man. I, and, and I'm not saying this. I'm not joking right now. You never know who that person's going to be, man. You never know who that person's going to be that's going to turn the tide, man. Because she can give, because if she can stand up, if she can stand up against sun turds, Think about it. If she can stand up against sun turds, what's your excuse, man? And I'm not saying you got to do what she did. I'm saying you got to vote for harsh penalties for these crimes. You got to recall all the judges in your town that are woke. You got to recall all the ebony DAs, all the sister DA. There shouldn't be one black woman DA in, in America in two years. In two years, there shouldn't be one black woman DA in America. Press one. It shouldn't be one cucked out white liberal DA like Larry Krasner or Gascon or any other of the other cucked out Soros white DAs. Y'all gotta get rid of those people. If you if you're not willing to stand up like this, because this is very dangerous, I would not say try this at home. And stop saying, stop letting black people and white liberals say bullshit in public unchecked. Stop letting white people, stop letting people say shit unchecked in public. Man, black people, man, we got it the worst, man. We being hunted by the police. Um, hey, uh, son, man, you're actually 38 more times likely to kill a cop than he is to kill you. Man, man, they. They only kill more white people because there's more white people in the country. Hey, son, man. White people have infinitely less interactions with cops than you do. It's not even in the same stratosphere. 
how many more interactions your black community has with police than white people have with police. Yet and still, they kill twice as many white people as they do black people. You got to start pushing back against these, this shit. Salute to this woman, man. Brave, brave woman, man. We begin with a woman turning the tables on armed would-be carjackers who were threatening her life. Thank you for joining us for 7 News Detroit at 6. I'm Mike Duffy. Now, the men attempted the carjacking in broad daylight in the parking lot of a Target store in Taylor. But before it was over, she was the one chasing them. 7 News Detroit reporter Kimberly Craig is highlighting the voice of this brave woman who had been pistol whipped, but still didn't let her flip flops slow her down. It was Monday afternoon, just before five o'clock, and Rachel Smogeski was sitting in her boyfriend's car, getting ready to go into this target when three would-be carjackers picked the wrong one. They seemed like they were scared of me almost because I was going ballistic. I was like a little gorilla. Rachel tells 7 News something in her snap, but she says the ordeal started very differently as she sat in this parking lot Monday with the windows rolled down. I was just sitting here on my phone, and then all of a sudden somebody just pulls up, and they just pull the gun right at my face, and they start yelling, give me your phone, give me your keys, give me your wallet. I thought I was really going to die over somebody trying to take a car. Rachel was scared and couldn't believe what was happening. She was about to call 911 when one of the three would-be carjackers knocked her phone out of her hands. He hit me right in the mouth right here with the gun, and I was starting to bleed all over. And then he put it up to my head, and he said he's going to shoot me or give me the keys. Rachel gave up the keys. And I just thought, well, it's not worth it. And so I just gave him the keys, you know, because I didn't know what was going to happen next. And then all of a sudden something just snapped in me. And I was like, you know what? No, I'm not going to let this happen to me. This is not going to happen. I tried to stand on the top of the car, banging, help me, help me. They've got a gun. They got a gun. Thankfully, onlookers called 911. And that's when the tables began to turn. Once they started back away and run, I was like, oh, no, that's it. And I chased after them. And I ran like the whole parking lot. And I was just wearing flops, so I lost my shoes, so my feet are all cut up and everything. Rachel cornered the guys, and one of them threw her keys back at her. They then tried to hide, but it was too late. Too many people were watching. DJ's employees just came out and they said males are hiding in their bathroom. Taylor police arrested three teenagers and recovered their gun. I asked Rachel where she got the guts to go after the bad guys. I've had everybody walk all, all over me and you know, take advantage and stuff. And after it been for years and years, you know, you just get sick of it. And I'm not going to let anyone do that to me anymore. She's just thankful for those who call 911 and says this is a reminder to be vigilant. If I had been more alert, I probably would have saw them and I could have gotten away instead of letting them come up to the car. They thought I was an easy target. But you weren't. But they thought wrong. In Taylor, Kimberly Craig, 7 News, Detroit. Okay, Kim, thank you for that harrowing story. We get back to the IT mate now. A post on social media led police to suspected drug traffickers and illegal guns. IT mate's Cody Fisher reports now. Court documents say that detectives saw Dejon Taylor dancing around holding a gun on his Instagram story. That sparked